Aishan gone quartz from the Chibuku deposits in Busy Valley, Zimbabwe, with a story to tell. It has this coating of, uh, I suspect, a very thin layer of Chalcedony, but there's underlying patterning to the, the Chalcedony. It's as if it's been painted as a, uh, we could even say a, a camouflage to hide the lovely purple which lies beneath. And as we turn it, uh, smoky purple intermix, so this would be smoky amethyst. Crystal form, uh, is it celestial? It's a flutter nonetheless, so it formed as is in nature. There you can see the, the smoky and the amethyst running together. Um, so we first, we first going to turn it over this way. Have a look at it slowly from this perspective. Then of course you have this this uh, Charles Sydney coating it, which has there is an underlying patterning to the coating. There are almost two little, uh, shall I say, like eyes or even windows into the stone over there. I think esoterically that may have a meaning. Uh, quite rare. I haven't often. Well, I, I, actually, this is the first time I see that that particular formation. From a termination point of view, terminations are pretty good good on this one, uh, intact. And then when we turn it over, we've got a totally different perspective of the same specimen. This, of course, would be the base. Actually, it's not a floater. There would have been a stem out of here. So this would have been a scepter, the head of a scepter. So let's go around like this. Let's look in over there. So you have that crystal sitting over there. Let's zoom in on that and see some of that fire, that smoky amethyst running in there. Um, look at that, look at that. That's a different perspective of the same specimen. I again prefer this, this point of display. Lovely, lovely smoky amethyst, uh, Jimmy. And then as we turn it over, we have these two windows, the watcher.